few countries have been developing hypersonic aircraft. Hypersonic flight technology just passed a hugely significant milestone, and countering them during their cruise phase will require radar with longer range as well as space-based sensors and systems for tracking and fire control. Today, the Buzz would like to present the 10 fastest hypersonic aircraft in the world. This may include space planes and glide vehicles too, and will also include those which have been decommissioned and prototyped, so stay tuned. At number 10 is the X-Core Lynx. This was a proposed suborbital horizontal takeoff, horizontal landing, rocket-powered space plane that was under development by the California-based company X-Core Aerospace. The Lynx was intended to have four liquid rocket engines at the rear of the fuselage, burning a mixture of LOX kerosene, each engine producing 2,900 pounds force of thrust, and it was intended to fly four or more times a day and would have had the capacity to deliver payloads into space. The speed of the Lynx was approximately around Mach 5. At number 9, we have the Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. This is an unmanned research scramjet experimental aircraft for hypersonic flight. The X-51 and booster detached from a B-52H was powered to Mach 4.8 by the booster rocket. It then separated cleanly from the booster and ignited its own engine. The test aircraft then accelerated to Mach 5.1 and flew for 210 seconds until running out of fuel and plunging into the Pacific Ocean off Point Mugu for over 6 minutes of total flight time, and this test was the longest air-breathing hypersonic flight. At number 8 is the Skylin. This is a series of designs for a single stage to orbit space plane by the British company Reaction Engines Limited using Sabre, a combined cycle air breathing rocket propulsion system. The Skylin is a fully reusable single stage to orbit vehicle able to achieve orbit without staging, which is intended to be used principally as a reusable launch system. The vehicle design is a hydrogen fuel aircraft that would take off from a purpose-built runway and accelerate to Mach 5.4 at 26 km altitude. Number 7 on the list for the top 10 fastest hypersonic aircraft is the HST DV. This is an unmanned scramjet demonstration aircraft for hypersonic speed flight. It is being developed as a carrier vehicle for hypersonic and long-range cruise missiles and will have multiple civilian applications, including the launch of small satellites at low cost. The HST-DV program is being run by the Defense Research and Development Organization. The eventual target is to reach Mach 6 at an altitude of 32.5 km. At number 6, we have the Lockheed Martin SR-72, colloquially referred to as the Son of Blackbird. It is an American hypersonic UAV concept intended for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance proposed privately in 2013 by Lockheed Martin as a successor to the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The company expects an SR-72 test vehicle could fly by 2023. With the growth of anti-satellite weapons, anti-access area denial tactics, and counter-stealth technologies, it was thought that a high-speed aircraft could penetrate protected airspace and observe or strike a target before enemies could detect or intercept it. The SR-72 is envisioned with an air-breathing hypersonic propulsion system that has the ability to accelerate from standstill to Mach 6 using the same engine, making it about twice as fast as the SR-71. At number 5, we have the North American X-15. This was a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft operated by the United States Air Force and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration as a part of the X-Plane series of experimental aircraft. The X-15 set speed and altitude records in the 1960s, reaching the edge of outer space and returning with valuable data used in aircraft and spacecraft design. The X-15's highest speed was achieved in October 1967 when William J. Knight flew at Mach 6.70 at an altitude of 102,100 feet or 19.34 miles. This set the official world record for the highest speed ever recorded by a crewed powered aircraft which remains unbroken. Number 4 on the list is NASA X-43. 
This is an experimental unmanned hypersonic aircraft with multiple planned scale variations meant to test various aspects of hypersonic flight. It was a part of the X-Plane series and specifically of NASA's HyperX program. The X-43A was designed to be fully controllable in high-speed flight even when gliding without propulsion. However, the aircraft was not designed to land and be recovered. The X-43 set a record at approximately Mach 9.6, but the test vehicle crashed into the Pacific Ocean when the test was over. Number 3. We have the DFZF. This is a Chinese hypersonic light vehicle. The DFZF is designed to be mounted on DF-17, and the DFZF is thought to reach a maximum speed of Mach 10. The glider could be used for nuclear weapons delivery but also could be used to perform precision strike conventional missions which could penetrate the layered air defenses of a U.S. carrier strike group. The hypersonic glider vehicles are less susceptible to an anti-ballistic missile countermeasures than conventional re-entry vehicles. At number 2 is the Chef X-2. Known as the Sharp Edge Flight Experiment, this hypersonic plane is an experiment conducted by German Aerospace Center for the development of some new, cheaper and safer design principles for space capsules, hypersonic vehicle and space planes with re-entry capability in the atmosphere and their integration into a complete system. On 22 June 2012, Chef X-2 was launched from Andoyo Rocket Range in Norway. It reached a height of about 180 kilometers and a speed of Mach 11. And now at number one spot, we have the Avangard. This is a Russian hypersonic glide vehicle which can deliver both nuclear and conventional payloads. According to open source analysis by Jane's, Avangard is a pure glide vehicle without an independent propulsion system. When approaching a target, the glider is capable of sharp high speed horizontal and vertical evasive maneuvers in flight, which Russian officials claim makes it invulnerable to any missile defense system. The blast yield of a nuclear warhead carried by the Avangard is reportedly more than 2 megatons TNT. It was stated that the glider flew at 27 times the speed of sound invulnerable to interception. And with this, we're winding up our video for today, but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you guys for viewing in, we'll see you next time, bye bye.